Question number 17, IIT 2022 jam. Suppose that two random samples, N1 and N2, selected without replacement. Now, the key is without replacement. So, without replacement, the sample proportion usually takes the form P into 1 minus P by N multiplied by, this is called the correction factor. This is my correction factor. So, this is what is the standard deviation. Okay, under root this. Now, if it is for P1 minus P2, that is the difference of the two proportions, what will happen is basically the two standard deviation or the two variances, I should say, the two variances are added and I take under root in order to give me the joint standard error of the sample proportion difference. So, it should be option A. Option D is not correct because then here I am summing over the two samples, N1 and N2. But why should I do that? The first one has a sample size of N1. The second one has a sample size of N2. And that is how it will be. So answer is A. Please understand this is without replacement. That is why this is the answer. If it would have been with replacement, then the answer would have been B. Okay. Answer is A. IIT Jam. 2022 question number 19 this is my function f0 0 is equal to 0 so let's try and find out whether it is continuous or not firstly at 0 comma 0 so in order to find that out we'll just have to find out limit h tends to 0 f of 0 minus h comma 0 minus h so basically we need to find out f minus h comma minus h limit h going to 0 okay so what will this be? Just put it here. This will be minus h into h square divided by minus h cube plus 2h square because minus h square is equal to h square into minus h minus h cube. So this is basically minus h cube divided by minus h cube minus 2h cube minus h cube. So this is basically 1 by 4. You can take h cube common, minus h cube common, and you'll get 1 by 4. This is my left-hand limit. I don't even have to check further because my continuous, in order for the function to be continuous, f0, 0 should have been 1 by 4. If the left-hand limit is not equal to the functional value, the function cannot be continuous. Right? So even if you want to check the right-hand limit, it is 0 plus h plus h. This will be plus plus. This will be plus, 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 and I'll end up with the same result that is equal to 1 by 4. So left-hand limit and the right-hand limit are both equal, but the functional value is equal to 0, not equal to 1 by 4. So this is my answer. F is not continuous at 0, 0. Okay. IIT Jam 2022, question number 25. It doesn't get more easier than this. The probability of getting a head in a toss of a biased coin is 2 by 3. Head is 2 by 3. Therefore, tail is equal to 1 by 3. Let the coin be tossed 3 times independently. Then the probability of getting head in the first two cases, getting a head in the first two cases, and a tail in the final toss. That's it. Head, head, tail. What is the answer? It's 2 into 2 by 3 cube. 4 by 27. Mark your answer. Okay. Question number 26. Consider a pure exchange economy with two goods, X and Y. Ravi and Suraj are the two individuals. Ravi's utility function is basically beta log XY. So if I take a monotonic transformation of this, this will become UR is equal to log x y to the power beta okay monotonic transformation will x y to the power of beta another monotonic transformation x into y so this is a classical cobb douglas kind of a utility function 
utility of suraj is x by y to the power of alpha so if alpha is a positive number y is a bad commodity as i increase my y my utility will fall so ideally if that is the case suraj should not consume any of y but uh, since nothing is mentioned and it seems to be a very simplistic kind of a question what are we supposed to do in order to find out the contract curve the best method in order to do that is something like this we'll compare the mrs so mrs of ravi should be equal to the mrs for suraj okay so ravi's mrs is basically this suraj mrs will be basically minus of ys by xs and since i know that xr plus xs is a mm -hmm. and yr plus ys is b therefore ys can be written as b minus yr with a minus sign in front and xs can be written as a minus xr that is what i have done then i cross multiply and i get the result this is the result this is in terms of xr so a y r plus b x r minus 2 x r y r i am not writing r as a subscript because everything is r so i am just writing it in terms of x and y i am not writing the subscript obviously that is implied so answer is bombay yeah. 2022 question number 27 Which of the following is not correct regarding R square and adjusted R square? Adjusted R square. This is the formula. Okay, so this is correct. Basically, one minus adjusted R square is equal to one minus R square multiplied by n minus one by n minus k. This is a very basic general formula for adjusted R square. This is correct. R square tends to increase if we add explanatory variables. That is correct. That is exactly why in multiple linear regression model we use adjusted r square because that you know tends to be invariant to additional explanatory variables if they are irrelevant r square is a scale invariant statistic that's also correct what is incorrect is bombay the reason is adjusted r square can be negative yes you heard me correctly it can be negative when r square is very small when r square is very small this can be negative there is a possibility so in the case of say uh, r square being 0.5 and the number of cases being 11 and number of parameters being 5 you'll notice that r bar square will be negative okay so there is a possibility of that so basic result answer bombay am 2022 question number 29 very basic nash equilibrium problem game a look at this if mary wants to watch movie best for john is to watch movie there is no dominant or no dominated strategies football john should watch football So these two are the Nash equilibria for game A. For game B, it's a prisoner's dilemma case. You can see that I will have a dominated and a dominant strategy. Do not confess will be dominated. Confess will be dominant. Zero is better than minus one. Minus five is better than minus nine. Similarly, for convict two, minus one is worse than zero, and minus nine is worse than minus five. The same thing. Do not confess is dominated. Confess is the dominant. And the Nash equilibrium in this case will be only minus five minus five. So game A, movie, movie, football, football. Game B, confess, confess is the Nash equilibrium. D. Twenty twenty two. Question number thirty. This is my production function in terms of the labor. The marginal productivity of labor is nothing but the derivative of this. The labor is one hundred, so I basically multiply that, and I'll get twenty eight. So the MPL is twenty eight. That is, one labor will produce twenty eight output. Okay. Therefore, one labor, twenty eight output. Therefore, 
वन बाय ट्वेंटी एट ऑफ अ लेबर विल प्रोड्यूस वन आउटपुट देर फोर द मार्शनल कॉस्ट इज बेसिकली द वेज रेट दिस इज वॉट आई पे सो वन फोर्टी रुपीज गिव मी ट्वेंटी एट आउटपुट वन आउटपुट कॉस्ट विल बी हाउ मच वन फोर्टी बाय ट्वेंटी एट विच इज इक्वल टू फाइव ये आउट ऑफ द क्वेश्चन एवरेज वेरिएबल कॉस्ट क्या है एवरेज वेरिएबल कॉस्ट होगा वेरिएबल कॉस्ट इज बेसिकली ओनली दिस पार्ट सो दिस विल बी पॉइंट टू एल माइनस पॉइंट जीरो 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 फोर एल स्क्वायर सो एवरेज वेरिएबल कॉस्ट दिस इज बेसिकली दी productivity of labor is what we need to find out average productivity of labor is q by l minus 0.00 square so just put in l is equal to 100 minus 22 22 minus 4 18. 18 is the average productivity of labor. So one labor paid 140 rupees on an average will produce 18 units of output. So 140 by 18 will be the average cost per output. So 140 by 18 is how much? 1.78. Answer is A. Question number twenty-two. Question number thirty-one. Okay, this is my MSQ part. Let X follow a normal like this. Why is this? Which of the following is not correct? Obviously, integration minus infinity to infinity, the area will be one. Minus infinity to mu, since mu is also the median is half this is not correct area under the mu plus minus 3 sigma x will be 1 approximately and mu plus minus 2 sigma will be approximately 0.95 so this is also not correct quartile deviation is about 0.667 of the standard deviation correct mean absolute deviation is also this Standard deviation is sigma. This is correct. X and Y independent. X minus Y follows normal. Mu X minus mu Y, but the variances are added. A and B correct. 